Ladies and gents, and my gamer friends, I want to do a complete, in-depth review of this Roadcaster Pro 2. I've done a review previously, but I want to do a complete, in-depth review. And yes, it's active, you can see this. So currently, I'm using my iPhone 13 to record this video. And usually, I use an audio enhancer, but in this video, particularly for this video, I've decided to use zero enhancers or any tools to enhance my audio. So right now what you're hearing is straight from the iPhone 13. And later on, I'm actually gonna show you what it sounds like from directly from Roadcaster Pro 2, okay? So I have a cover which protects my Roadcaster Pro because I love my baby. So I'm gonna just take it out real quick. And later, I'm gonna show you a complete in-depth. This one is just an overlook, all right? So I'm gonna show you the interface here first. So you see I'm connected to, well, I'm using SMB, SM7B. I like to keep it to 70 dB. You can just go back and forth and decide whichever works for you. We have the recording button here. So it has a SD card, meaning you can use it as a standalone record device, recording device, which is interesting. I haven't used it much, uh, maybe once just to test it out, but this is not my primary thing for. I'm a full-time creator, content creator. I do stream, I'm a game, well, I just do video games and stuff. So yes, I use it on a regular basis. This is very heavy, okay? so. Currently, I'm using only one of these right now. I don't connect any of these yet. So, however, you could. This connects to iPhone as well, matter of fact, using Bluetooth, okay, which I'll show you multiple setups here. And all of these pads, extra fascinating, well, FXs. I just keep it simple. Hence, you see, I use a cover because once I'm done with my primary default setup, I'm good. I don't need to move around much. And of course, it's wise to get a uh, thingy, this one, because yeah, I love my stuff. And I have two cats in the household, so I have to be very careful. All right, regardless, let me show you real quick. So mute, and this is here. I have something which I use, just to show you real quick, okay? I'm using just one of these thingy just to hear my own voice, and that's about it. So this helps me to know that my audio is coming out clear. That's one. And then I have a headphone which is attached to this. So this is the SLR, okay, which connects to the uh, my Shure mic, which I'll show you down the road. For now, I'm keeping this level right here, okay, on top level. Then I'm gonna be coming to this in a second, but just to explain you real quick. All of these, multiple channels. So if you have five different headphones or you're doing interviews with anybody, one, two, three, four, you can use all of them. Pretty cool. You can individually mute them, control, whatever you want, okay? I'm just showing you one because I'm a solo guy and I'm using just one of these, right? Then you have this. Over here, you can move this back and forth. Like for example, you see this? So there's actually a lot more than this. You can set it up, default. All right, so and then moving on to this, we have uh, some other controllers, okay? Which I'm gonna show you in a second. Now, let's see what we have here. So I usually turn it off. I turn this on, phantom power, because I'm using SM7B. And on top of that, you have other controls. You can see it comes with multiple things. And I, like I mentioned, this one is for recording. So if you click on this, Default show, I don't use it as all, at all, but you see, zero recording, zero hours, because I didn't do any of these. And second, uh, this is for Bluetooth. So if you click on it, no device connected. So if I want to right now, I can connect my iPhone with this. Fascinating, right? I can literally record using my iPhone, the video, and the audio can come from this. So that's number one, okay? So if you look at it, number one is mine, mic, which is right now. Well, of, of course, not using it right now, but that's my default. Second is a Bluetooth. Third, we have multiple, Discord, chat servers, um, YouTube, other stuff. And then I talked about this pad here. This is the pad, music, uh, crickets. You can change, you can change whatever you want, which is cool because this this happens in real time. So if I wanted to change my voice to some robotic, like trombone or rimshaw, whatever, like if I wanted to, I could do that. So if, if you look at it here, sensor, you have the sensor button, you have the large robot, small robot, megaphone, monster. So I can change my voice in real time, which is the best part of this. So I can change it in real time, talk to people in a robotic voice, <laughs> something like an AI thing, okay? So that's there. Now, actually, let me show you some other stuff. We have the faders here and display, brightness, metering, whatever you wanna do it, okay? Recording and stuff. You have the show, I don't use it much. Smart pads, I just showed you the smart pads. Then the outputs, I showed you all the stuff, right? The headphones, listen track. This is a listen track. This is the listen right here. See the listen tracks here? That's a listen track, also a fader. Pretty cool, I like to keep it simple. And I will discover and show you multiple stuff down the road. But now, let's keep it simple, all right? So again, I wanna, if I wanna press this default, you see what comes out? Because this is what I'm using. So now, let's get to the, de uh, what do you call, the details. Processing and effects. 
Okay, let's click on advanced. So right now it's processing, you can see this. So I'll click on advanced. Uh, I don't wanna destroy my thing currently, but just to show you real quick, the effects, echo, reverb, I don't do any of these, but just to get the radio voice, the radio quality, everybody wants that. I mean, that's the most common thing. Hey man, how do you get the radio qu quality? Well, this is where it is. So usually, well, I would, uh, I would say, man, processing, right? Presets, you see presets here? If I go to broadcast, yes, broadcast, um, you know, just select whichever you want and it'll show you over here. So processing, sparkle, punch, right? I want to click on effects, echo, reverb, uh, smart pads. You have the smart pads here. Watch this guys, processing. There's another one called DSR, which I'm going to show you in a second. Advanced, here, compressor, threshold, attack, gain, ratio. Whoa, nice gate. DSR, this is important. DSR, threshold, pl play with this in order to understand the radio quality voice. And also this one, the um, panning, exciter. Exciter is another one. Big bottom and oral exciter. These ones are uh, important when you want to get something like video quality, all right? And I don't play with any of these equalizer. I use a software. Compressor, I leave everything the way it is. The best part of this Roadcaster Pro is it comes with default setup. It has a default setup for just a decent video quality voice. So I barely did anything. And like I said, I produce thousands of videos and uh, I probably know what I'm saying talking about this. This is by far the best producing, what do you call it, amplifier out there. I, I would say that as of now. Um, yeah, things may change down the road, but as of now, this is just the perfect one. High movie quality stuff. Right now, I'm actually gonna show you how it sounds like. You ready? Let's do it. All right, let's finish it off where I started. I mentioned that this one, I use it to understand that my recording is taking place. So basically to hear your own voice and you have a separate controller right here. Yeah. So I'm going to use it right now. That's what I'm doing. This is also con connected to the, the Roadcaster Pro. And there's a Bluetooth option, wireless option. I just decided to opt in for the fired version. Anyways, now I want to show you something, okay? You hear this, the voice. I'm using the SM7B, but it's channeled through Roadcaster Pro, right? This is what I have here, right in front of me. Well, okay. So I'm about to show you whatever i can i've shown you most of the features and i'll explore down the road and let you know more but this is exactly the way it is i hope i didn't mess up any setup and i'm not gonna enhance this for audio because you can enhance and do multiple things make it so much better i've not touched it at all whatever you're hearing right now is just the standard although it is very awesome for me but it's the standard you can do a lot more okay so i don't want to waste time i'm just gonna show you uh, the other parts the fx so for example, look at this one, all right? I'm not sure if you can, let's see. This is the, this is the beep, right? Like sensor. I don't sensor, that's a sensor on spot, real time. You can change all this if you want it. We have, hello? Yeah, robotic. So real time voice changing, robotic. Check this out. Yes, this is from the future. Droid reporting. That's not bad, right? So that's a robotic voice. Let's see if you have anything else. Third? Hold on, what is this? Oh, whoa, that's the echo. Hello? Whoa, whoa, that's a giant. That's a troll. Hello? Yeah. So you get the point. This is cool. I can literally record it the way right now, upload it. And I can also hear that voice that's happening right here. So you can decide you can use it or you don't have to use it. It's up to you. I don't always have to use this. But the way it is, you have an option. So you know exactly. For example, let's say I'm not using this and I'm talking and I don't even know that I'm, my voice is troll. Right? I didn't know my voice was troll, like the giant voice, until I put this on and I'm like, hold on. Uh oh, I should change it back. So that's what I did. I fixed it. And on top of that, another use case on Skype, Discord, gaming servers, if you just want to disguise and change your voice directly, if you want to talk to the gamers or people. Amazing. On Twitch, elsewhere. Right? So there you have it. And let's see, what else do we have? Hello? Uh oh, that's <laughs> Chipmunk. Another voice changer. Okay? So we played with voice changer quite a bunch, and that's out. Other than that, there's really not much. Beside, there's this noise gate, there's quite a bunch of stuff, which I don't play with, honestly. We have compressor, and usually compressor and a couple of others, equalizers. I just use software, which comes with the recording tools. But this is an all in one package, a producing system amp. And so far, my favorite one because i love recording so this is my best buddy so again this is what i have for you right now if anything changes if i discover something new fascinating i'll do another updated 
detailed review down the road. So I really hope you found this useful. And just to do a quick recap, you have this. You can connect your Bluetooth, one, two, three, four, five, six, six slots. So I could connect this right now. It actually has a slot. That's for number two. For my iPhone, it has slot number two. Then now slot number three, I have another wireless mic, which I don't really use because I use the Shure SM7. And yeah, third, fourth, fifth, if you want to do interviews, you have multiple people in the same room, you could do that. And best part, this one works with two different computers at the same time. So if you're running two different machines at the same time, you can actually use this one device to control both of them. So yeah, it's pretty the best bang out of the buck, I would call it. So hope you found this useful. And uh, again, thanks for watching. And I will see you in the next video.